Hello, Fat Parents. I'm Robert Sembro, and I am joined by my good friend, Nikki White. Nikki, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I am good. Hey, today we're going to be talking about something that I know you love to get into, but it is something that overwhelms a lot of dog parents and mm -hmm. sends them into the concern point of, wait a second, can my dog have fiber? Mm. Is it getting too much fiber? What's going on? The or scares. usually like the variation of that question really is, my dog has massive diarrhea. Absolutely. What do I do? And this is where the fiber conversation comes in. Yeah. Play. Well, and I know a lot of people are even confused. Just start right from what is fiber? What is fiber? Fiber is usually a plant substance. It's a nutrient in a plant and it's indigestible. Basically, you put it in your mouth and it comes out the other end and it doesn't get digested in between. That's basically what fiber is. Right. So it can't be absorbed. It passes through the system, grabbing right. various things. Roughage, all of that. Yeah. Let's I'm... not be shy about poop. <laughs> poop let's is not. A part of life. Yeah. Well, and Can let's I not be shy about next. <laughs> fiber because there are some important benefits to fiber. You know, and let's talk about having a healthy microbiome. Yes. That is a big reason why fiber is super important. And your microbiome is basically life. It is your longevity. So it's a very important thing to talk about. And it's basically the good bacteria in your gut that flourishes over the bad bacteria or fungus. So it can really help everything from your mental capacity to your immune system. It, your microbiome is everything. So fiber is a very important way to keep the good bacteria happy inside your gut. Yeah, well, and the other, just several other benefits to it as well. Yes. It's gonna normalize your poo, it's going to control the blood sugar, mm -hmm. and it really does help with that nutrient absorption, which is really important. Because yes. here we are trying to elevate but if it's not absorbed, it really doesn't help us. Right, if you're not getting enough fiber, you can have things like leaky gut, which means you're not really like getting all that you need out of all of your food. Yeah. So you will either poop it out or not absorb it. And you know, when you're eating, you wanna get everything you possibly can out of the food you're eating. And another good side note, when you talked about the blood sugar, that's also a really great thing if your dog has had cancer before yes. or has diabetes or obesity or some other blood sugar issue, Issues. Yeah. right? Because the more you can keep their blood sugar stable, the healthier they are. Yeah, no, absolutely. Fiber has a lot of benefits, but how do we know if it's working? And this is your expertise, flash up the poop badge. Here you go. <laughs> Everybody out there needs to get a poop bag and become a glorified poop detective, okay? It's a very important thing to know what your dog is pooping out, or you, honestly. It, poop is the indicator of so many things, of health, of disease, of irritability. There's a lot of things that can be in the poo, so poo is important. Well, and let's talk about what you're looking for, because you and I joke around a lot about being a poop detective. But yes. there are some things that you are really looking for to see, not only for the yes. health, but also is what you're doing working? Right, right. So you want to wait, you know, 6 to 12 to 24 hours, just depends on your dog. And it also depends on what you feed your dog now. So my dogs eat raw food, so their poop will look different than somebody who has dry food which is fine, just know what the standards are for healthy poop for that type of diet. And also you wanna make sure while you're detecting the poo, the things you're putting in it, is it getting digested? If it's coming out whole, like corn, <laughs> right, right, it's not getting digested. So we wanna make sure we are looking through everything on a regular basis to know how healthy your dog is. Right. Well, and that helps us too, as we've talked about all these different things that you can be adding to the diet to elevate it. Mm -hmm. If your dog isn't assimilating it and it's not being absorbed, right. then you need to move off of that and move to something that it will benefit or from. Or in another application. It's a great point. So if you're great feeding point. a whole florette of broccoli and then they poop out broccoli chunks, yep. It didn't get digested. So yep. why don't you try chopping it a little finer? Because dogs have a really hard time already digesting certain types of plant fiber. Right. 
So we can blend it up, you can chop it finer, or move on to a different right. kind. Move on to a different kind, so many different ways. But that leads us to the question that you and I always get. It's a series of questions, right? Yes. And Poop is never really one <laughs> question. It's usually like, it's like okay. and, and. <laughs> now we're talking about the need for fiber. How do I add healthy fibers into my pet's diet? So these here are some of my favorite, let's just call them all digestive help because some of them aren't fiber, but it will help if your dog is having poo issues. Um, I like parsley a lot because that is actually an antispasmodic, which is just a big word for saying if your stomach hurts and it's spazzing, it calms it down. So my dog Nama has a stomach issue and she a lot of the time it turns into acid reflux because things are just not working the way they should. I will hand her, I will just show her this and she will go at it. She, I don't know if she loves it, but she knows it makes her feel better. So that's one good tool you can use if your dog's feeling a little junky. Um, the next one here is psyllium fiber, psyllium husk fiber. This one I love a lot again because my dog had cancer and this doesn't have any extra carbs in it. It is just fiber. So it's a good way to bulk up the stool if there's like runny stool or if there's an irritation. Um, it, it's just a good low carb fiber. Um, let's see what else do we so have pumpkin's here. Pumpkin's a standard mm -hmm. that everybody, you know, you read it all over the internet. It is wonderful. <laughs> Especially with faces drawn on it. I'm well, going poo. There. It's a poo emoji. I, 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 you did have the poo emoji go in there. <laughs> so you don't have to draw the faces, but there are times but when you're going so to need to go back to this um, because it is very effective, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it is one of those. And the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, people say, we well, can't believe everything you read. Listen, many of the things you're reading about pumpkin, tremendously valuable tool mm -hmm. to have in that healthcare tool chest. Right, your, your toolbox is like yeah. what we always talk about, put things in your toolbox. So this pumpkin, I will stock up when it's the fall because mm -hmm. it's hard to find when it's, you know, May, yeah. hard to find canned pumpkin. And like we want to uh, reference that we, we did in the first episode, this is not pumpkin pie. No. It's just yeah. pureed pumpkin in a can. And so when it's the fall, when pumpkin spice lattes are, you know, hip and happening, you want to grab as many of those cans as you can to keep you through the year if your dog has an upset during the year. Yeah, absolutely. And look, the bottom line, if you're getting it canned, you turn to the back and it should only say pumpkin. If there's only anything pumpkin. else, that's not for your dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So keep it simple. Um, we've got a couple others here, and then we've got our ultra one here. Yes, well, that that ultra one is basically vegetables. Like, let's yeah. just say this cauliflower represents almost all vegetables. Right. There's a lot of fiber, good fiber in vegetables. And cauliflower is another great one because it's low carb, but has a ton of phytonutrients. If you watched one of our last episodes, you yeah, can find absolutely. out about that. Um, and my last two that I really like to give my dogs for several reasons, but it goes along with the gut health, is this is raw apple cider vinegar here. And that can really just help keep blood sugar down and kind of just make your intestinal tract the way it should be. There's words I want to use, but I'm not sure <laughs> that I want to use them because I don't like those words. Um, and then these are just... Um, digestive enzymes. Every dog, every human can benefit from digestive enzymes. They can help your liver function and they can help your, your gut and your microbiome flourish. Which also brings me to one last thing, if you want to feed probiotics. That is another great yeah, one. Great question. To keep the yeah. positive bacteria yeah. growing and happy. Happy bacteria is a happy body. Yeah. So there's a lot of tools out there to help you out. Digestion is something so critical, not only for our pets, but also mm -hmm. for us. Look, there's all these different tools and sometimes we're doing many things with one thing. Yes. So keep that in mind as well as, Hey, I don't have to add 50 things in to hit all these different levers. Mm -hmm. What I do need to do is figure out, okay, 
I need to boost maybe this a little bit more. So mm -hmm. maybe this time I'm going here, but this next time I'm going here and I'm hitting a number of different things. Right, and so if you're getting confused or you don't know where to start, you can check out in the comments below the free Making Kibble Better guide. And it, it is a misnomer a little bit. Most dogs of any diet can use it, but if you're yeah. feeding kibble, it's great because it gives you a list. It gives you three lists, and then it gives you directions on when to use each list. Yeah. So you'll see in there that cauliflower is in there under phytonutrients, but it also has good fiber, so you can cross over as well. Yeah, tremendous point there. Now, if they want to reach out to you with more great questions or they want to get their own Poop Detective badge. Woo, can I sell those? Where do they find you on Instagram? You can find me at Life with Laker. All right, and you can all reach out to me at Pet World Insider on all the different social media channels. Hey, keep the questions coming. Folks, we are loving the amount of questions that are coming. Don't apologize. Send them. It's There's amazing. no judgment here. Yes, okay? none no at judgment. All. We're and, all learning. Yeah, and we're gonna do as many of them as we can. So the more you send, the more of these just wonderfully exciting videos. And more. Poop bags. Poop detecting. Poop detecting uh, that you're gonna get. So make sure you subscribe, reach out to us, keep the conversation going, and let's all become better pet parents. Thanks for joining us here on the Can My Dog Show. And poop detectives, better poop detectives. Poop detectives. I'm pretty sure you'd like to turn that into an entire show. <laughs> Poop detective. I will. With Mickey. <laughs>